Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to the Correct Views. Sam, I be the Ganji doing political commentary for the media speaks, but no, not just political commentary, the massive Fukushima update. Um, like it did last month, it's going to be going on for two days. Now, there's something I've noticed that is a bit disturbing regarding the Fukushima updates. That is that the number of people who were sharing this information, and I've noticed this on other sites too, not just mine, but um, other Fukushima sites. I'm not seeing them pop up on feeds as much. I'm not seeing people hit share as much. Friends, before I get started with this, let me tell you something. I know Fukushima's old news. It happened in 11. If the radionuclei that we, all of us doing this, have reported and done commentary on, if, if all of us were right in 2011, then we're just as right in 2016. Because these radionuclei, if they were humans, wouldn't even be toddlers yet. The radionuclei that were giving, that were coming to give you cancer in 2011 are here. The, the time to hit share isn't over. It'll be over, I don't know, what's the half-life of plutonium? Several million years? Friends, this is not the time to go to sleep. So would you do me a favor and share the video so that I'm not out here talking for absolutely no freaking reason whatsoever? And if you don't believe, let me go to screen share. This was sent to me. I actually found it on Prison Planet. I want to give a shout out to Prison Planet because whether you love them or hate them, it should be worthy of note that they allow me to use their comment line as a, an avenue to promote this show. And spam it. You can call it spam if you want, but uh, it, that's not the point. Um, call it spam. I don't care. Alex Jones said a long time ago that if we went out here and we made videos and we were doing what was right, that he would always support us. Well, I took him up on the offer. And you know what? Man's kept his word. I use his comment line to promote the show. Why? Because I have no money, but I have facts. So I give the facts, but it's not going to do me any good if I don't push the video anywhere. So I need you guys to help me get these facts out. Why? Look behind me at the baby with no skull. Those of you on low def down here, high def up there, you have already been looking at it for a second as I screen shared. This is not a Photoshop baby. Okay, this is real. Now, this is a couple of years old, but this is happening in Hawaii and Washington State, which is why I, as your humble host, have told you to not live in Hawaii, Washington, Oregon, or Oregon, or California, on the West Coast. We say Oregon here in Ohio. Get over it. Oregon. Don't live there. Hey, that's why. Did you see that picture? That's why I say it. I don't say it because I want to be a killjoy. A little more here. Um, this was disturbing as well. Um, NukeProfessionalBlogspot.com Hillary Clinton's emails about Fukushima and then a blackout as she goes to Japan to support the U.S. nuke cartel. How many of you, um, I, I'm a libertarian, I am also a, um, a big anti-NAFTA person, which is why I support Trump. Um, my actual political leanings are much closer to Gary Johnson in some regards. But NAFTA needs to end, and it's a driving force of, for me supporting Trump. Now, those of you that don't agree, those of you that hate him, then you're likely Bernie Sanders fans or Hillary Clinton fans. Okay, fine. This is the one time out of the entire month that you and I agree. This whole nuke thing is where me and all the people that normally hate me sit down and have a beer together. How many of you supporting Hillary Clinton did not know this? This is bothersome, friends. This is bothersome whether you're a greenie-weenie or not. 
this is very bothersome. I only have a few takeaways from the review of several thousand emails to and from Hillary Clinton in 2011 spring. But first, the skeleton in the closet. Clinton had almost daily email communications on Fukushima, where then two aides or handlers implored her to go to Japan, even though she was really tired from the travel, so much travel. After that second email imploring her to go to Japan, all her Fukushima emails stopped. Well, at least it was not disclosed in her email disclosure. Of course, setting up a trip to Japan to discuss Fukushima would need lots of logistics, talking points, points of contacts, meetings. She did make that infamous trip. So basically, Clinton did not supply these 60 top secret email were released to the FBI, but the cover up of the Fukushima story, that is for those of you that don't know, they lied to you about something that happened in 2011 that you might not have even heard about. But if you look up the Fukushima disaster, a lot of the authority figures that you're going to find that are tied in and getting big money to say this in one way or the other, or supporting people that do, they're not telling you how bad this was. Clinton knew how bad this was and hid it from us, friends. Either that or Obama told her to do it, but you didn't see her. You don't see her stepping up to bat now that she's running. She could say, hey, look how bad this is, but she's not doing it. Why? Because she gets big money from GE. That's who TEPCO is. Listen, listen, I, I'm not making it up. Go, go look at the facts yourself. It's behind me. Those of you are low def. It's on your screen. 60 top secret email were received by the FBI, but the cover up of the Fukushima story was so important that Clinton and her group committed a felony by removing these from the record. And it is only the story that makes sense. And you can see where the emails stopped. Look right there. You can see it. One, she was well advised as to what the risks were and what precautions should be taken. Well, that's that's nice. Uh, friends on low def, hit, hit, uh, hit pause if you want to read these because I'm going to go live. Hit pause if you want to read it. All right. Um, look at my pretty face. They wish I'd go back to screen share. Um, she was given the risks. Guess what? Our sailors weren't. Your sons, your daughters that were on the boat getting juiced, getting cancers, getting their entire DNA structure messed up. They didn't get these warnings. One, she was well advised of what risks there were and what precautions should be taken. Two, these powers that be understand false arguments, how to spot them and how to use them. Three, in the emails released, most exchanges were pretty professional. After the reactor four explosion, it had gone too far and they decided that the event just needed to be censored. After the initial emergency, they focused their concern on economic impact and impact in the nuclear industry. Pause. Did you hear what I just said? They didn't tell you how bad it was because they wanted to make sure the economy stayed strong. That you kept eating the food. That you kept putting Japanese auto parts in your Japanese import, that you didn't stop buying them because they might be mildly contaminated from Fukushima. No, 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 no. They didn't do that. They were worried about the bottom line. They weren't worried about you. They weren't worried about your family. And yet, let me guess, you're going to go vote for Hillary Clinton because she gives you the right to have an abortion, right? There are things more important. Four, around this time, researchers warned the powers that the Social media would lead to a reduction in their power if left unchecked and not monitored. So five, Hillary's crew responds back with, heck yeah, we are monitoring social media and Twitter to make sure our communications are resulting in the change we believe in. What is that change? Go back to number three. 
After the initial emergency, they focused their concern on economic impact and impact to the nuclear industry. According to emails that we know that she set. Six, Hillary's handlers pushed her to go to Japan with some goals in mind, and that was public relations. That would be very powerful. They pushed her, even though all kinds of other events were occurring and lots of travel, and she was tired. That's why they call it her handlers. If you don't take anything else away from this segment, listen. Eight, excuse me, seven. Once that first and second email urging the trip happened, then a complete blackout after they admitted they were only worried about the bottom line. A complete blackout on emails related to all major trip to a major world power for three weeks at least. That's all I checked. No other issue got this blackout. Eight. This blackout of the Fukushima-related trip to Japan was so important that it required committing a crime to not provide these emails under subpoena. She broke a federal law in order to hide this. No, she's not bought and paid for by the nuke industry. She's a great Democrat, right? How many of you that are Democrats, and I'm not, how many of you just puked? Of this $400 billion a year industry, the nuke industry, how much do you think they funneled to Hillary or some super PAC? And here we are. Here's all of her emails talking about what she should uh, bring, where she should go, what she should say, how she should lie and lie and lie. They're all here, all the emails, newprofessional.blogspot.com. You can find it by looking up Hillary Clinton's emails about Fukushima. It's all, I mean, you know what? I'm going to go ahead, and those of you behind me can already see it. I'm going to go ahead on screen share, and I'm just going to scroll down. You guys can pause any time you want to, because I can't read all of her emails to you, or I'm not going to get to any of her stories tonight. But you can pause at any point that you want to. This is who you're voting for. You can zoom behind me. It's on HDAP. Zoom right on in. Go to YouTube and set the, set the quality up higher. Here's, look at all these emails. Look at them. Hit pause. Read them. I don't like the guy with the long hair and the tattoos. I don't give a shit if you like me or not. Look, read. This is who you are voting for. All of these pages after page. Look, look at all the results that she got that you didn't get back then. All of the results showing how deadly it was. Here they are. Here they are. You didn't get this information. You were told to eat your tuna like a good sheeple. Ridiculous, friends. Absolutely ridiculous. If you vote for her, you're part of the problem. Um, rampaging radioactive wild boars causing havoc near Fukushima plant and breeding like rabbits. They often say that one of the proofs that Fukushima and Chernobyl or whatever, they weren't as bad as they say that, they, that other people say that they are because animals are still breeding. They don't mention that if you eat one of these animals, it could be very detrimental to your health. They tend to leave that fact off. Um, the boar population, which has grown dramatically in four years since the disaster, has been devastating crops and farms in the area. For those of you that don't know and you're new to this topic, welcome aboard. Hit subscribe. Um, <clears throat> what's happening here is they, well, no thinking person, a few people have. You, you can't go into most parts of Fukushima Prefecture right now unless you have a death wish or you're an idiot because it's toxic. This means that there is nothing to keep nature from reclaiming itself, if you will. And you have animals breeding in a toxic, radioactive environment, unchecked. And sooner or later, I mean, they don't, well, we're not going to walk out of Fukushima because we could be dangerous and we're boars. We figured this out ourselves. 
sooner or later, they're going to get into the hunting population, for instance. And then that's going to be distributed uh, for whatever reason to various people's dinner table. And they have no idea it's coming. What would be a comparison? Um, I don't hunt, but I know people that do. They, they give you a piece of venison, deer. Um, for you, those of you in Rio Linda, as Rush says, um, he didn't say, hey, he this down near uh, Pennsylvania where the uh, reactor mill is down. You don't ask the hell radioactive person to purchase. Well, this is interesting. Radioactive wild boars, which are breeding like rabbits, are overwhelming the Fukushima nuclear disaster zone. Again, people are saying, well, look, they're leading healthy lives. And we think they're healthy. They're just getting it out. The boar population, which has increased by 330% in the four years since the disaster, have been devastating the crops of farms in the area. That's actually good news. It's better that they eat it because you and I should not be eating it. But again, what did we discover? Worried about the economy, not worried about you. They're growing food here and complaining that the wild radioactive boars are eating it. And they also pose a threat, though, to public safety and have reportedly injured local residents. And again, you don't want to you don't want to really get around them because they're deadly, as we know such animals are. But they're also very toxic, and that is something, unfortunately, that is glossed over on a regular basis. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. I've got three stories left to get to. I just want to give a shout-out, if I could, real quick, to Sticker Junkie. Right there. I love Sticker Junkie. Why? Because they make amazing stickers. They make band stickers. I had band stickers up here. I think we're giving them all away. I usually hold them into the camera. Um, Amazing stickers. Why do you want to know about that? Because when you want to get your stickers made on checkout, put in the uh, in the uh, checkout either correct views or the correct views, you are going to get even more of a discount. So not only are you going to get the best stickers you've ever seen, which you can help design on the site or you can let them do it, but you're going to get a bigger discount because you listen to the show, because you're smart, because you're one of the people that don't sit there and think uh, how cool MTV is, even though they're music television and they play no music. RT, aggressive simulated attack. Pentagon decries Russian Zet zooming over the SSS Donald Cook. Um, and many of you know, I'm going to be doing more of this tomorrow. I actually lost a, a couple stories that I wanted to get to, such as the digital age. Um... I do world nuke news when I do the Fukushima updates because this is a, a whole nuclear industry that the war side and the energy side does tie together. Uh, people like Helen Caldicott have talked about this before. Um, do I believe in every conclusion she comes to about war? No. She's like a freako feminist and half of what she said doesn't make any sense. But when she talks about the collusion between the nuke industry and the war industry. She's right. She's absolutely right in every way. Um, there are a lot of people, like myself, that know that President Obama has to be one of the worst presidents in all of U.S. history. Easily. Maybe the worst. Probably the worst. Um, that does not mean that Vladimir Putin is our friend just because he knows that Obama is an idiot. Putin is jockeying for his country to get the best seat in the new world order. And they're doing it at the expense of everyone else, just like America is. America bombs innocent civilians. Guess what? Russia bombed innocent civilians. America threatens Russia with NATO. Guess what? Russia brings their nuclear submarines into our waters on a national holiday. 4th of July last year. Um, the Putin is not a good man just because Obama is a crappy man, okay? From RT. The acrobatic skills of Russian pilots over U.S. destroyal down at Crook in the Baltic Sea left the Pentagon and other U.S. officials running in cover in Washington over aggressive close interactions with Russian fighter jets. 
Releasing the footage of Russian jet flybys in the vicinity of the destroyer, the U.S. Navy said that its vessel had encountered multiple aggressive flight maneuvers within close proximity of the ship, some of those within 30 feet on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, the set of incidents took place as the U.S. ship, which had sailed from Polish port of Gdynia, was conducting exercises with its NATO ally Poland in the Baltic Sea, international waters. In other words, we covered this before briefly, Russia is provoking a legal exercise in international waters. One of the great nuclear powers of all time. That's terrible news. That is dreadfully terrible news. Uh, guys, two more before we go live tomorrow. Iran conducts space launch, but the Simwork launcher part of the long-range missile program. There's two things here you need to know. First of all, and what you often won't even hear talked about except for here. That's why you tune in. That's why we're called the correct views and not the maybe views. Um, Iran, even if they were peaceful, because we all know they're part of the religion of peace. Oh, well, even if the religion of peace for once decided to be peaceful in Iran, they are building a nuclear power plant on an active earthquake zone that the very same people who predicted Fukushima are predicting to happen in Iran. Now this matters because we know that at least one of the meltdowns of the four that happened in Fukushima, along with melt throughs and melt outs, look them up, happened due to the earthquake, not due to the tidal wave. Therefore, what we are looking at is the absolute fact, not theory, not opinion, that Iran is building this and they are going to experience during the life of that plant a catastrophic earthquake that is going to kill more Arabs than a billion Zionists. Secondly, they're not honest. They're text testing how to launch a nuclear missile at the United States or any ally in the West at the same time that they are talking America into giving them the ability to continue this nuclear research. And then when someone like Trump wants to stop it, people are out here calling Trump crazy. No, I'm sorry. Anybody that wants to go ahead and trust Iran is probably crazy. And I know you don't believe me, so I will prove to you that I'm right. Free Beacon, Iran this week conducted the first launch of a new rocket that the Pentagon views as a key element of Tehran's effort to build long-range missiles. So let's help them with their nuclear program, shall we? Why don't we just give them the physics on a piece of paper, like Bill Clinton did China during Chinagate? The launch of the Simorga Space Launch Vehicle on Tuesday was judged by U.S. intelligence agencies to be a partly successful launch, but it did not reach orbit, said defense officials familiar with reports of the test. Well, that's okay. Nuclear power plants can last for several decades. They've got plenty of time to figure it out. Why don't we just give it to them? It was either an unsuccessful launch or a test of third stage, which was really not meant to place a satellite in orbit. In other words, we have Iran launching missiles, which they claim has to do with satellite orbiting, but which is really a test of missiles that can be equipped with nuclear technology. They are conducting pre-nuclear war tests at the same time that they want us to give them permission to further their nuclear ambitions. John Kirby from the State Department said, obviously we're watching this as best we can. Well, they could probably watch it better if we weren't giving them exactly what they need. 
Certainly it's true, and we're talking about a ballistic missile launch or the testing of ballistic missile technologies. That's obviously of concern to us. If it was more of a concern to our president, then we might not be about to be looking at a nuclear Iran. But it's always a Democrat that leads this into happening. Much of what China has now, they have because of a wonderful Democrat named Bill Clinton. The nuclear technologies that North Korea is furthering, again, thank you, Bush, which was actually a Republican acting like a Democrat. Thank you, Democratic Clinton. Thank you, Democratic Obama. The, what we're seeing right now with uh, Russia building up, thank you, Mr. Obama, for doing nothing. Thank you, uh, Mr. Obama, for helping Iran get this technology to hurt Americans. Thank you, you idiot. And that's not even the dumb deal of the day. This is. Thank you. I love Wilder with Crowder. Enough. The head of GE obliterates Bernie Sanders' class warfare. Now, Stephen Crowder has, a, and I love him. I have, I, I think he's probably the best. Uh, an alternative media, probably the best media head in general, uh, currently uh, doing work at all right now. The man is a genius. But I do believe that what Mr. Crowder has missed here is the, the bigger picture, which is General Electric is TEPCO. That's why I'm asking you, begging you, imploring you, if you are in a mutual fund and it's a, uh, if GE is in it, get out of it because General Electric is TEPCO. And TEPCO is who led to the meltdown and the cover-up of the meltdowns, melt-outs and melt-throughs that we saw in Japan that came from over there, that came from GE. Now, GE wants to attack Bernie Sanders, which is fine because Bernie Sanders would be a disaster, economically speaking, for the country. But the bigger problem here is that Bernie Sanders is right concerning the evils of General Electric. Do you realize that they not only put your family at risk by not listening to doctors and scientists who warned of this meltdown happening, but they then tried to cover it up for the good of their bottom line? Okay, so I'm sorry, I'm not going to be voting for Sanders, but he's right here. Uh, again, I am not going to be voting for Sanders. <laughs> But he's right. It's always fun to read the head of corporations or even people like Mike Rowe and Rob Lowe put Bernie Sanders on blast for his insane rhetoric attacking anyone who makes more money than him. Or you can add GE head honcho, I would add scum, Jeffrey M. Melt, who just wrote this. Well, I agree with the message, but GE is not the one to be saying it. G has been in business for 124 years, and we've never been a big hit with socialists. Good. We create wealth and jobs instead of just calling for them in our speeches. We take risks, we invest, we innovate, and we produce ways that today sustain 125,000 jobs. Pause. We take risks by opening nuclear power plants in known earthquake zones. So we're going to lecture you, Bernie Sanders, about morality. We invest. No, GE, you don't invest. You get subsidies from taxpayers who you make invest for you via the tax code, whether we want to or not. Otherwise, nuclear would not be affordable. It is paid for by the taxpayers at gunpoint. They innovate. Yeah, they innovate, all right. And they produce. What do they produce? Lies. So I know they're like the wrong person to be giving the right speech. Our engineers innovate every day to build hardware and software solutions to meet the real world challenges. Well, maybe you can figure out how to get tritium out of water since you put it there and science currently doesn't know how to do so if you want to be so damn innovative, you lying sacks of crap. I meet the second and third generation employees that goes on wherever I travel across the country and I am one myself. 
Our suppliers and partners are proud of our company. Okay, and what he's saying is that socialism holds back progress. Okay, I agree. He's right. But for GE to imply that they have a moral high ground here would be like President Obama calling the Canadian president and saying that you need to be careful with drones. It's like Adolf Hitler calling Stalin and saying, I have a problem with how many Jews you've killed. Friends, you're listening to the correct views. I will be on again tomorrow, giving you the last half of your massive Fukushima update. Thank you for listening, friends. Hit share, hit subscribe. If you really hate me, if you really, really hate me, then don't hit share and don't hit subscribe because I can't grow without that. If you want to donate, if you want to help me, go to the correct views on hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. And lastly, if you're going to get a ride anywhere, don't call Uber. Call Change Transportation. Tell them you listen to the correct views. Say, hey, Kenny told me to say I listen to the correct views. I'm going to get a discount. And guess what? You will. Thank you, friends. Good night. God bless.